to our readers. The Earth, Sun, and Moon performed a bit of a dance for us this month. First, residents of certain parts of the globe, primarily Europe, were treated to the spectacle of a total solar eclipse. That's when the Moon moves between the Earth and the Sun. A couple of weeks later, some of us residing in Asia got to see a lunar eclipse, assuming that the local weather cooperated with your viewing plans. In this scenario, the Earth slips between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow across the latter. If you're having difficulty keeping up with this cosmic waltz, never fear. We break down all the technical astronomical details in this month's issue of CNN Interactive English. Up until a few centuries ago, eclipses were cause for panic due to superstition. But today, they're a source for wonder and excitement, especially for those of us lucky enough to witness them. As we point out in our coverage, remember not to look directly at the eclipse when you're watching it. Inside, you will find helpful tips for safely viewing this interplay between heavenly bodies without jeopardizing your eyesight. Speaking of all things solar, we learn about a technological wonder this month that could circle the globe while being powered only by the sun. The solar impulse, too, might not be the first solar-powered aircraft, but it's well on its way to becoming the first to complete such a pioneering journey. Also in this month's issue, we eulogize Singapore founding father Lee Kuan Yew. Explore the streets of Saigon, sample tapas in Madrid, map the wonders of the human mind, and go shopping at the world's largest mall. Sit back and enjoy another trip with us around our world and beyond in English.